Okay, we've created our controllable character block. Now we want to attach Sean the Sheep. Launch the project and let's get cracking. Basic animation. We've made this project ready for you to start dressing the character. Here's a Sean sprite which has all the animation frames ready to go in the costumes tab. Now we need to line up the animation sprite with the character box so that it follows it properly. We have separate animation sprites to the block character to give us more control over which animation cycle we use. When we add other character functions such as jump, we will add other animations to match up with it. We'll explain this in a bit. Make sure you have the character run animation sprite selected. Copy the scripts while the character run animation sprite is selected. Take your time to find and check you have the right scripts. Once you've done that, click the block and the animation sprite should line up with the character block. Take a look at the picture to see what it should look like. If you're finding that Sean is hidden behind the block, just click on Sean and drag him up and he should drop over the top. What the script is saying here is, when the green flag is pressed, start a loop which will set the position of the animation to the position of the character. This will happen continuously because it's in a loop. It then checks to see if the left key is pressed. If it is, point left. And if the right key is pressed, point right. At the moment, your sprite moves with the block, but it doesn't animate. Now let's get the animation moving so Sean looks like he's running. We need to tell the animation sprite to change to its other costumes. So we have to add scripts to tell it to do that. Here we have added two next costume blocks. These are purple. These tell the sprite to go to its next costume. And as they are in a forever loop, they will keep changing to the next costume until the game stops. When the green flag is pressed, Start a loop which will set the position of the animation to the position of the character. This will happen continuously because it's in a loop. It then checks to see if the left key is pressed. If it is, point left and start the animation facing left. If the right key is pressed, point right and start the animation facing right. Now our character will run left and right and the animation will show the character running. Well done, you've added movement to the game character and completed module one. Give yourself a pat on the back.